those in charge of making those weather-related calls. How's it going out there, Mike? Yeah, well, the rain seems to have let up just a little bit here at Greystone. We did have a, a little bit of a storm move through about 10 or 15 minutes ago, dropped some rain. Officials that we've talked to out here say they're very optimistic about getting a lot of golf in this morning. May have to start a little bit later than they want to, but all of this is going to come on the heels of what the PGA Tour is calling its secret weapon. Their on-site meteorologist here, it's his job to watch the skies and to make that call on whether or not play continues during a storm. He watches about an 8 to 10 mile radius around the golf course. Any severe weather that blows into that circle and he has a decision to make. So we see lightning developing inside that range and we're going to evacuate the course immediately. And again, it depends on how far the storms are away, whether they're approaching, say, 40 mile an hour or 20 mile an hour. That threshold can change. And of course, how long if you're coming out to Greystone today, will you have to wait for that rain to move through and for play to start again on the other side? Coming up after 630, I'm going to tell you how long that delay is and some of the technology and design features that go into this golf course that make sure that it can pull as much water off the course as possible. Live at Greystone, Michael Loder, CBS 42 News.